Hello. Today's story is called Lewis and Clark, The Journey Begins. Our learning objectives today are to identify what Lewis and Clark's three tasks were, describe the beginning of Lewis and Clark's expedition, demonstrate an understanding of the word expedition, act out Lewis and Clark's final preparations and the day they set out for their expedition, and then identify skills that Lewis and Clark thought would be important for members of the Corps of Discovery to have for this expedition. Our uh, key vocabulary today, we have communicate, core, diary, and expedition. Communicate is a verb, and it means to share thoughts with others. When Imani had a very sore throat and couldn't talk, she used pictures to communicate with others. Core. Core is a group of people who are working together. The Corps of Engineers repaired the damage to the large dam. Diary. A diary is a book or journal for writing down personal thoughts and experiences. Joy wrote about her day in her diary. Expedition. An expedition is a group of people traveling together for a special reason, such as exploring. The class organized an expedition into the woods to observe the birds. Okay, who can tell me, looking at this map, where is the Atlantic Ocean? Oopsie, the Atlantic Ocean, over here. What about the Appalachian Mountains? Right in here. The Mississippi River, right here. Okay, uh, the Rocky Mountains over here. And what about the Pacific Ocean? Where is the Pacific Ocean? Right here. You heard about Lewis and Clark who had been who would be leading the exploration of the Louisiana Territory. Why did Jefferson want the United States to have control of the United or of the Mississippi River? Why did they want to have control over the Mississippi River? Because if you had control of the Mississippi River, it was a lot easier for us to hand out goods or trade or buy goods, right? With the people who are on the west side of the Appalachian Mountains, okay? Because it's hard to move all of that stuff through the mountains. Do you think that Lewis and Clark explored the Louisiana Territory and completed all three tasks all by themselves? We're going to have to see if you're right. Lewis and Clark gathered a group of people known as the Corps of Discovery to accompany and help them. Remember our key vocabulary, we have communicate, core, diary, and expedition. I want you to listen carefully to find out what kinds of people Lewis and Clark looked for to help them. Before they began their exploration of the Louisiana Territory, Meriwether Lewis traveled to Indiana to join William Clark and gather their team of explorers. Lewis explained, as I wrote, my as I wrote in my letters, Will, because the United States government is paying for this exploration, we will travel as members of the U.S. Army. I ask that we be made co-captains so we would have equal command over our men. Soon they traveled to the city of St. Louis, where the wide Missouri River flows into the even mightier Mississippi River. St. Louis was a frontier town. Its streets and stores bustled with hunters and trappers who had chosen to live far beyond the more settled cities of the East. Trappers are people who hunt and catch animals to use their fur for clothing and blankets. The two captains knew that it would take courage, intelligence, and skill to reach the Pacific, so they looked for people who knew how to survive in forests and rivers and mountains. These people would need to know how to hunt and fish for food and build shelters in which they could stay warm, dry, and safe. There were no houses or hotels in the Louisiana Territory, so people had to be able to make their own shelters to sleep in. Some were Americans who had grown up in Virginia or Pennsylvania and who had later moved on farther west to live in Kentucky. Others were Canadians from the country north of the United States. They spoke French and English. The two captains finally put together a team of trusty men who were daring and brave enough for the expedition. 
Remember, an expedition is a group of people who are traveling together for some special reason, such as exploring. This expedition is exploring the Louisiana Territory. Among the men who joined Lewis and Clark's group, one man, man stood out. He appeared before them one day dressed half in manufacture, manufactured clothing and half in the animal skins favored by woodsmen. I am George Druyar, he told them. I hear you are going all the way to the Pacific. Ask the others you've already hired about me. They all know me. I speak French, English, and some Native American languages, so I can help you communicate with your men and with many Native American people you meet. Or, sorry, yeah, Native American people you meet. Remember that to communicate means to share your thoughts with others. Speaking in one, speaking is one way of communicating. I also know hand sign languages used by Native Americans who live out in the Great Western Plains. When different tribes meet, they use this sign language since their spoken languages are not all the same. I can ask them about the country head and help them understand that you have come in peace. Do you think that George Druyar will be a help would be helpful during the expedition? Why or why not? I think so because he knows many different languages and some Native American sign languages, and that would be able to help him um, help the group or the core of discovery communicate with others along the way. Okay, his clothing of animal skins implies that he's a woodsman like the others, and that he might know how to survive in the wilderness. And he says that the men who um, they've already hired can vouch for him as a good person to have along. Okay. Lewis and Clark had to gather supplies as well as people. They were going to need to take a lot of things with them on their trip. They purchased some long, narrow canoes called pirogues and one larger, wider boat called a keel boat. On the deck of the keel boat stood a little cabin that held supplies. Riders in the pirogues moved their narrow boats forward using canoe paddles, but the keel boat had a sail. Moving the keel boat was slower and more difficult than moving the peel, the pea rogues. I have a hard time pronouncing that, sorry. When a strong enough wind was behind the rivers, it would push the keel boat along. But if there was no wind, the men had to take turns pushing and pulling it with poles and ropes. So this is the pea rogues, okay? And this is the keel boat, okay? On Monday, May 14th, 1804, the explorers were ready. They called themselves the Corps of Discovery. A corps is a group of people who work together. Now they would leave for St. Louis and travel west along the Missouri, as President Jefferson had requested. As one of them, Private John Whitehouse wrote in his diary that day, we hoisted our sail and set out in high spirits for the Western Expedition. At last, they were on their way. And that is the end of our story today. Let's do our comprehension questions and word work. I want you to imagine that you were going with Lewis and Clark as part of the Corps of Discovery and that you wouldn't be home for many months. What kinds of things do you think that you might need to take with you? Clothes, maybe some pots and pans, um, things for cutting down bushes and trees. Okay. The people that Lewis and Clark chose to take with them on their trip had many different skills. Can you name some of those skills? Survival skills, like knowing how to hunt and fish and build shelters. What was another skill? Being able to communicate, knowing more than one language. Why is that important? Because the people on the expedition would have to find their own food, build their own shelters, and talk with the Native Americans. Oopsie, I didn't mean to do that. So where did Lewis and Clark begin their journey? They began their journey in the city of St. Louis on the Missouri River, right? So this is the Missouri River. This is the Mississippi River. And this is the city of St. Louis. And in the city of St. Louis is where the Mississippi River and the Missouri River meet, 
or connect. Why did the Corps of Discovery travel up the river instead of on foot? Well, it's easier to travel and transport things on the river. There were no roads yet, so in order to travel, you had uh, in order to travel, you had to travel on foot or on a horse and cut down plants in your path. Okay? So that would be really difficult. Also, one of the tasks is to find out if there is an all-water route to the Pacific Ocean. So might as well take the water route, which is the Missouri River. In the read aloud you heard, Lewis and Clark finally put together another team of, or, sorry, a team of trusty men who were daring and brave enough for the expedition. Can you say the word expedition? Expedition. Can you clap it out? Expedition. Whoa, that's got a lot of syllables. Let's try. Count. Expedition. Four syllables. An expedition is a group of people traveling together for a specific purpose, like exploring. Often, an expedition goes on an adventurous journey. The brothers decided to join an expedition to climb to the top of the tallest mountain. Okay, what kind of expedition would you want to join? All right. Okay, did we identify what Lewis and Clark's three tasks were? Yes. Did we describe the beginning of Lewis and Clark's expedition? Mm -hmm. Did you demonstrate an understanding of the word expedition? You did. All right, and then your assignment is going to be to act out Lewis and Clark's final um, preparations and the day that they set out for their expedition. And then our, um, we already identified skills that Lewis and Clark thought would be important for members of the Corps of Discovery to have on the expedition. I'll see you next time. Bye.